Today on Let's Get Cozy, we're going to be sharing another fantastic book written and illustrated by Tommy DePaola. And what you find the more that you read and the more books that are out there, that some books have a lot of words and lots of pictures. Some books have no pictures and a lot of words. Some books have little amounts of words and a lot more pictures. And today's selection, The Knight and the Dragon, has something a little bit different. It has fewer words, but so many incredible illustrations by Tommy DePaola. Friends, sit back, relax, get cozy. It's story time with Kiaya and Daniel. Oh, hi. It's Daniel and Kiaya, and we are so excited that we're going to be launching on Rude Rangers TV, Crafty Conversations with Kiaya and Daniel. If you're a crafter of any kind, cross-stitching, needlepoint, pottery, music, acting, baking, mixology, cooking, everything is a craft. We want to have a crafty conversation with you and tell us about your journey and teach us a few things uh, along the way. Please, if you are interested in applying to be on this great new show, please go to www.stitchingwolfdesigns.com and apply today. Kiyaya and I can't wait to have some crafty conversations with all of you. Again, apply today, www.stitchingwolfdesigns.com. Stories are such an important part of our lives. Join my friend Kiaya and I for Get Cozy because it's story time with Kiaya and Daniel where we share some of the greatest picture books and chapters from children's and young adult literature to inspire you to keep embedding literacy into your days. Once upon a time, there was a knight in a castle who had never fought a dragon. And in, cave, and in a cave not too far away was a dragon who had never fought a knight. Hey, Kiaya, have you ever fought a dragon? <coughs> You're telling tales again, Kiaya. <coughs> One day, the knight went to the castle library and took out all of the books he could find on dragon fighting. Meanwhile, back at the cave, the dragon had rummaged through all the things from his ancestors and found some books on knight fighting. The knight began to build some armor The dragon practiced swishing his tail. Those are some great pictures, aren't they? <coughs> Meanwhile, back at the castle.
Dragon were both ready. They sent each other a letter and set a time for the fight. We hope you enjoyed The Knight and the Dragon as much as we enjoyed sharing it with you. But we'd like you to try to do something different. We've slowed down the illustrations a bit in today's episode so you can always go back and watch it again. And we want you to write some words that go along with some of the illustrations that don't have words. So instead of painting pictures with paint, we want you to write what you're seeing and what the dragon or the knight might be saying. Share your stories with us on our social media at Stitching Wolf on Facebook and Instagram or send them to us through email. Get cozy at stitchingwolfdesigns.com. Until we see you again, friends, stay happy and healthy and always remember, Ooh. that's right, Kiaya, reading is power.